Please be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station, the management, and its network. Magandang magandang araw po sa inyong lahat, lahat ng ating kapwa Pilipino in the country and all over the world and of course our international friends watching us from all corners of the world uh, through uh, social media. Magandang araw and uh, magandang uh, ikadalawa ng Hulyo po. Ano? This is our first edition for the month of July. A very interesting month. It is also the month uh, of an internationally celebrated event which is the 100th year anniversary of the uh, Communist Party of China, CPC. Uh, and uh, in the Philippines naman po, ano, eh, uh, meron tayong um, uh, nilunsad ang uh, Chinese Embassy with the uh, Association for Philippine-China Understanding, APCO, represented by uh, our maestra, Ana Malindog Uy, you know, who has, we have uh, discussed this uh, previously and uh, uh, in fact, the names have been announced of the laureates that uh, uh, have been named by the APCO uh, board uh, or committee on these awards. Uh, and um, there, you can see some of the images there. Uh, Madame Imelda Marcos, Francis Chua, former uh, leader of the uh, various uh, Filipino-Chinese chambers of commerce and social groups. Romel Banlawi, uh, professor at Miriam College and the head of the Philippine-China uh, Studies, Studies uh, Association. Association. Associ yeah. Association, uh, no, Philippine-China, uh, no, uh, Philippine uh, Studies, uh, China, Chinese Studies for China, Association, Philippine for, Association Pax, for, yeah, for Chinese Philippine Association Studies. Philippine Association for Chinese Studies. Yours truly is there also. My uh, ugly face is there. And beside me, or to my left, in that frame, is our guest today, uh, Mr. John Lucas, a very long name. Uh, Anna later on will uh, spell it out. Just below is uh, Ado Paglinaon, our co-host here, is also a laureate, primarily because uh, of a very important book he wrote, uh, which uh, we will explain later on. And of course, the others here, including uh, Jimmy Flor Cruz uh, and uh, Tessie Angsi and uh, uh, Leo Mill. Liumil. Liumil Aportadera. Aportadera. And also Professor uh, um, Nepomuceno. In, yeah, oh. uh, yeah, Professor Nepomuceno. Well, anyway, before I, we go on, uh, I would like to mention the unethical practice of our media, Philippine Star in particular, you know, who reported uh, dutifully uh, the event, this um, awarding uh, of uh, uh, 10 who have been named as a uh, uh, promoters of Philippine-China understanding, but editorializing on the report. This is the report. Graft convict Imelda Marcos 2021 Hall of Famer sa pagtutulak ng Filipino-Chinese ties. Unang-una, -una, hindi pa po convicted dahil up, on appeal to the Supreme oh, Court ang no kaso. Oh, there's no such thing as conviction. No? Oh, so, uh, this is very unethical of Philippine Star and we have to chastise that newspaper ano? and also one one last thing mm, it's mm. not connected to the award precisely it's a different oh. issue pero sinadya nila they think yes. they are hitting two birds with one mm -hmm. stone hitting Imelda ano? and hitting the award, the ano? award. I think uh, uh, we we are ready to invite them to discuss this if uh, we are wrong you know, that they are unethical in this but I think we have to keep telling our media already you have to shape up I know uh, anyway so let's move on uh, we have uh, interviewed our team has interviewed already in another program uh, one of the laureates uh, uh, doctor and attorney Mar uh, Mario Leonardo Emilio O Aportadera you know, an international law uh, professor and a medical doctor amazing uh, combination and we will have him here also eventually, eventually. in this uh, program. Yes. Our guest, however, has a long name too, John Nicolo Frederick Fernandez. Uh, major contributions made by John, awards for promoting Philippine-China understanding. And uh, Mr. John, uh, will, uh, the introduction will be elaborated on by Maestro Ana. John works with an uh, institution that uh, really promotes uh, directly to millions of um, Chinese you know, and uh, 
helping uh, tens of thousands of Filipino teachers uh, uh, to engage with this market in China. You know. uh, this next image shows that uh, uh, Filipino workers find solace in getting the jobs in Chinese online teaching platform. I uh, drew this from our previous discussions here on this same show. And uh, one news item that I think uh, is relevant is uh, the uh, October 18 last year, 2020, uh, at the, in, the, in the middle of our crisis uh, sa economy, where many of our people uh, and young people uh, uh, were looking for jobs, uh, this opportunity of 20,000 jobs opening in this 5-1 talk, uh, English as a second language program, mm -hmm. you know, Actually, uh, the 20,000 yes. is actually 30,000 now. Uh, well, we'll find out from John from more John, details probably. about the operations yeah. of 5 1 Talk. Uh, no? And uh, so, uh, Anna. Yes, let me have the honor to introduce our guest. So I'll just read a bit uh, no? so that everyone will understand why he is also an awardee of the Awards for Promoting Philippine China Relation. Mr. John Nicola Fernandez is also known as Teacher John Lucas. Very popular. The teacher, no, and that, and that crazy fan teacher is a five one talk teacher ambassador. Was a brand ambassador has been on the platform for over three years. He creates videos about Chinese culture and collaborates on video project with his Chinese students. Yeah. He is very popular in China. Take note uh, on his Billy Billy channel. Billy Billy channel, right? Billy Billy, Billy channel. There's a Chinese. Billy Billy or Billy Billy? Billy Billy or Anong Billy Billy? Tama pronunciation? Billy Billy. Billy Billy. Billy. Now, may kahulugan ba yun? May meaning ba yun? Um, not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, um, baka may Chinese uh, translation yun? There Meron is a ba? Chinese translation, I think, because I saw it in the, in one of the ah, videos. So, okay. Hindi ko lang alam ba no basahin yung Chinese ah. character. Ah. Oh, but very, very popular and has a lot of mm. followers. Chinese, no? And then... His passion for teaching made him become an online sensation in China because of his cool and engaging antics while conducting lessons. He is now a, has a strong following on his social media accounts where he shares efficient teaching strategies and techniques to aspiring teachers. He loves to incorporate and promote Chinese culture in his videos. He made videos of making Chinese food during Chinese New Year and did some cus cosplay of Chinese celebrities on his social media accounts on YouTube and Facebook. And yung ano niya is that crazy fan teacher. I think that's the video. Um, si, si Jan Lucas has been traveling to China as well many times since 2019. In one of his travels, his team competed in Beijing for the Sina five-star teachers competition. I, I will ask you more about this later. And clinch the five-star teacher award because of their unique and engaging teaching techniques. His warm interaction with his students and made him an active advocate of student-centered student learning. I think this is very significant uh, since there is he is developing very nice relationship with his Chinese students. And he is our guest right now, and he's one of the laureates no? yeah. of the APPCU. We have a video sample of mm -hmm. what he does and why he is uh, so well known uh, in China. The, across uh, the South China Sea, you know, yes. in China. Uh, but before that video, uh, that sample of that video, uh, let's uh, hear from uh, John. You know. So uh, what's your feeling uh, with this award? And, yes. Uh, what are your responses to to what we have just uh, read out. Yeah, um, well, first of all, thank you for having me here. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great pleasure and an honor. Um, uh, honestly, when I heard that I won this award, I felt really shocked because, you know, <laughs> it's, it's like a, a great privilege to win such a prestigious award. And, uh, you know, because I'm more concentrated on just Teaching, teaching mm -hmm. kids, yes, yes. You know, entertaining teachers, and those things. But I'm really proud of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> proud of it. I feel happy about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, do you have any reactions from your girlfriend already, or are you married already? Um, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I think not uh, yet. It's not a secret, though, so <laughs> we won't mention that. What about your parents? Uh, uh, well, my my mother was uh, more. Like 
more happy, shock. more shock. Yeah, it's like she she's ready to go to the event. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, so you'll bring your mom to the to the ceremony? Yes. Oh yes. Yes. Mm, yes. Because she she's very special to me because uh, very supportive ever since for whatever I do very mm. very supportive. Ah, ilang kayo mga kapatid? Um. I have a 21 year old brother and ah. a 16 year old sister. So, tatlo kayong magkakapatid. Yes, you're the eldest? I'm no. the eldest. I are the eldest. Okay, mm -hmm. very responsible. It seems. Uh. Uh, I, okay. I like to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now oh, let me show you uh, a uh, 15 mm -hmm. second clip you know, of what he does, and uh, then you will understand why he is such a fun fellow to the audience that to he has. And why uh, it is really also uh, a major way of promoting Philippine China, uh, China understanding, understanding at the people's uh, to people yeah. level. I uh, think. If our Ado Pagdinawan wrote Rest a book it. about the virus to bridge the understanding of the issue of the pandemic, iba naman iba ang role ni no, John. Ano? It's so much more on yeah. academic uh, teaching yeah. kids, yeah. Chinese kids, oh. and promoting two cultures. And di lang teaching na one plus one. Uh, no, no, no. Cha i er to dal o yang ka. I really don't know. I mean, John knows more Chinese than I do. I think so. Know. I think so. Let's But, watch uh, so the, let's watch this the video. video yeah. This short video. I am a clown. I am a cartoon. I am your best friend. I am more than a teacher. Hey, 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 it's the Taro! Head on over to Facebook or Instagram to check our new merch! Plus 100 days off with free shipping for the first 100 orders for each shirt. And also, get some crazy awesome limited edition merch! Catch you there! <laughs> Okay, so that's just a short clip. He has a very, very long list of videos. Yeah, no? I've seen it actually. Oh, you've seen some of them. Of course, oh. during the I know the the selection process, yeah. we have in the selection process there are like three uh, judging process. No, you have the elimination round, then you have the second judging, the final. Of course, I'm the one on the middle of all this, hmm. so I have to watch every video. Yeah, okay. So I've seen it, and I'm Pero so. But there are videos. There are more than two dozen, so oh. I don't know, no? dozens and dozens. Dozens, of them. Uh, but you did not watch all of them, siguro. No, those that were submitted to me. Ah, um, meron si submit pala. Submit, yeah. Are you aware of that? That yung mga submissions na yon, or ikaw bang naganda din nun, or yung um, mga boss mo naganda o? Uh, actually, the ones who nominated me were the. You know, our brothers and sisters from mm. China. Ah, yes. from the other, from, from the Chinese the, uh, side. Yeah, from, oh. yeah from, actually from Beijing. Mm, from Beijing. Oh. Yeah. Well, later on, we'll show a video of his visit to the Beijing yeah. office. No? And uh, anyway. It was very interesting. Oh, oh. So, how's the work? Uh, ano, ma pressure ba yan? Uh, do you have problems with it? Uh, is it a fun job? Uh, Uh, I think everything you said, boys. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's true. There's yeah. pressure, there's fun, yeah. there's. Of course, there's the pressure of, you know, will the people like it? Will, mm. you know, will the kids that watch it enjoy oh. it? And of course, it's fun making it because this is also my, my passion. Mm. Because my, I come from a multimedia background. I direct, I edit videos, mm. do graphic design. Mm. But you, you really impress me as a shy, yeah, shy person, mild mannered, <laughs> uh, reserved it, yes. uh, person. But of course, on the video, you're you know a jumping around, person. you know, very yeah. colorful and so on. How, mm. how how is your Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde transition? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, a lot of teachers who have met me in person uh, mm. told me that. Mm. Yeah. Mahiyain ka pala. Tapos nung na-interview ako sa stage, parang, ano. Okay. So, I'm very much interested about the SINA Five Star Teachers Competition. Can you give us a bit of background, what happened there? Why did you compete and you won? No, together with the team of teachers? Actually, there are a lot of schools included there, not just from the Philippines. It was in Beijing, right? Yes, it was in Beijing. Yes, I think we were the only one there who, who was uh, an online ESL company. Mm. The others were like uh, teaching babies how to swim, ah, those types okay. of things. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, there were a, a lot of contestants. And 
we we took home the bacon. Wow. Mm. <laughs> you took home the one ton. The one ton. bacon. <laughs> oh, because you're in China. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, yung nakakabit dito na monkey, mm -hmm. is that the symbol of your, ano? Yes, this is... Uh, five one talk? Yes, but this uh, is Max the the monkey. Max, ah, mm -hmm. meron din pala sa cup mo, no? Oo. Oh, uh, yan yung ano nang Can ano. you show the camera? Uh, ah, sure. Ayun, 51 talk and then the other side. Yes. Then five one talk. Yeah, and ayun. Yeah. That's yeah. coffee for 51 talk. No. Yes. <laughs> and uh, how many uh, to your knowledge, how many na ang Filipino teachers uh, in this uh, uh, task in 51 talk? Uh, the last uh, I've heard is we are close or over 30,000 teachers mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. all across the, the oh. nation. Oh, but 5-1 uh, Talk is not the only operation of this kind uh, of teaching ESL uh, for, for yes. the Chinese market. No? So mm -hmm. mga iba. But why is 5-1 Talk the most prominent? Is it the biggest operation in the Philippines? Yes, it is. Uh, uh, it is the biggest. No? Yes, it is the biggest. Mm -hmm. Because okay. we, um, um, we really promote the Filipino teachers. Teachers, yeah. no. So most teachers are Filipinos. All, all almost all. Almost all. Yeah. All, no? Majority, yes. But my, my curiosity is, how do you relate with your Chinese um, students? They're, these are also not only kids, no? Mayroon ka mga adults na estudyante Chinese. How do you relate with them? How do you teach them? And, and how do you share with them the culture, the Filipino culture? Since you're a Filipino, they're Chinese. The, the exchanges, can you give us mm -hmm. a bit of an idea? Um, in a fun way, of course. <laughs> ah, yes. But, but uh, what I like to do is, of course, I want to get to know them mm -hmm. more. I, do, I just don't want to, hey, here's our culture. <laughs> you know, it, it takes a number of classes before I really get to know the student. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but, you know, my technique is I want to make them, to make them laugh. Mm -hmm. Next is I just want them to, m to make them speak. Mm -hmm. That's all. It doesn't matter what they say. I just want them to interact with me. Mm -hmm and you know spark their interest in learning the english language mm. Mm -hmm. the, but so. do you share with them like the different kinds of um philippine uh, did in some way mm -hmm. um you teach them as well filipino um like basic things uh Maybe. actually that's not allowed but it depends there it are depends. some students who will tell me hey can you teach me a uh, filipino song uh, yeah Tagalog something song? like that yeah Th then you do and mm -hmm. you sing i yeah, the I students think. sang actually. Oh wow, <laughs> that's nice. But this is all done through the internet. Internet. Yes, we have uh, we have an application called uh, Air uh, Five Five One Talk Air Class. Mm -hmm. Air. Air class. Air class. Yes. Class A. Mm -hmm. Parang school room, uh, yes. classroom, uh, air class. Okay. It's similar to Zoom, but. Mm. There's, you can see the lesson, you can write on it, you can ah, play so music and video. Mas advanced. Because mm. in Zoom, you cannot do anything. But there it isn't, I think you can teach really like a teacher that you can write things. Mm. Mm. And yeah. then the student can see it. And the design is more catered to you know, children. Children. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, so we have a around two and a half video clip of their visit to visit the to Beijing, Beijing headquarters. And uh, there was a lady accompanying you. Is she Filipina also? In this ah, yes, she, uh, she's a Filipina. She's also a teacher in ah, okay. 5 Talk. So how many times have you been to Beijing? Um, only once, once, but I've also visited other... Other, other uh, occasions mm -hmm. uh, to, as a tourist or uh, also as a teacher? Uh, tourist slash mm -hmm. teacher. Where did you parts of China? Um, uh, first Beijing, then um, Guangzhou, wow. Shanghai. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, let's watch this uh, clip, clip. Uh, no? oh, and uh, uh, it's nice to see them uh, intermingling with uh, the Chinese uh, ladies and so on. So. And I have a question as well. Uh, okay, sige, panuulin din.
it's good that we are third. We're gonna have a benchmark. We're gonna set the bar high. Good afternoon, I'm Selfie. I've been teaching English online for several years. And hello, my name is John and I've been teaching online for two years. There, okay, Anna, sabi mo, yeah, pa, yung kasama, kasama ni Jan, hmm. parang Pilipina. Pilipina, no? She's yeah. a Filipina, right? Filipina, oh, but she looks Chinese. She looks <laughs> Chinese. <laughs> Actually, he can also pass for a Chinese. For a Chinese, so, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but may I have a question. Is it true that in 5-1 Talk, there is one section or one, uh, one department, I think, that everyone has to speak in Filipino only? Something like one, that. One floor? Or one no? floor or yeah. one department. I've yeah. read it in one of the articles about 5 1 Talk. Na even the was that even the Chinese Chinese um, employees no, of, 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 of 5 1 Talk, they speak fluent Tagalog. Uh, well, I haven't uh, encountered <laughs> uh, Chinese that, you know, that speaks, speaks fluent, fluent Tagalog. Uh, well, what I know uh, and I personally have seen is uh, in China Radio International. Oh, really? They have a floor. That uh, everyone who enters that floor are required to, to, speak, required in to speak in Tagalog. Filipino. Mm -hmm. uh, Filipino. So they can speak fluently. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, we have two yes. minutes left. Uh, yes. Anna, you had uh, other I questions. Ha I have one, two questions no, for you before we end the, the, this segment. Um, what do you think is the importance of the award? And what do you think will be r your role no, as, an, as a laureate? Because no? this is the first time that we have this, and mm -hmm. then we'll have the succeeding awards in the next coming year mm -hmm. and then what's your message to the younger generation um, in, in uh, for them to be more encouraged in promoting the culture and interaction of these two countries I think that's much more my last questions to you. yeah well I hope this uh, this award you know tries to uh, it inspires other mm -hmm. you know people like me or the other awardees to you know that we show that we can coexist peacefully with <laughs> With uh, you know, not just Chinese people, but you know, all with, people. With all people, yeah. Yeah, and uh, my message to the younger generation: well, first, honor your parents. <laughs> yeah, okay. and uh, just f follow your dreams. Don't don't give up on your dreams, whatever what. Just, just follow it, and everything will fall into place. <laughs> just okay. work hard, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was a very nice discussion and a very nice personality. Shy, but... Uh, oh, very shy, <laughs> but very... He's a different person when he's in, in, in his production. Yeah. No? I need my, my wig. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. Sana may wig kang dala. Sana may wig kang dala. Tapat. Uh, anyway, next time, we'll next invite time, you. Yes, yes. And we'll also wear wigs. Oh, the, oh, three, yeah. of the three of us will have and, fun. And uh, we'll have some a Chinese naman teach us some Chinese language. Language, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, yun po. Uh, very... Uh, uh, very fun discussion with uh, John Lucas uh, from Five One Talk, and um, shows one aspect of the award, no? yung creating uh, understanding between uh, our country and another country. Uh, so, sabi nga ni, you know, ni, uh, ni John, uh, maybe this should inspire more of our young people to be engaged in international uh, activities. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's uh, wait for our second segment where we will discuss fiery issues. Issues. Uh, okay, <laughs> thank you very much.